everything we want, we want because we want a feeling. Think about that. Everything we want, we want because we want a feeling. And this is true for literally every human being on earth. We are sensory beings. We like feeling certain ways and we don't like feeling other ways. So frequently in our pursuits, we're chasing the thing that's gonna make us feel one way and trying to avoid the thing that's gonna make us feel the way we don't wanna feel. But something we all want to feel is important. We all wanna feel vital. We all wanna feel like we matter. Including these people who we disagree with. If we can get down, and this is one of the beauties to me, the, one of the beautiful things about reading, it helps me get down to that emotional core of being human. Knowing that deep down we literally all want the same thing, it's, that helps me. It helps me when it comes to being at peace with other people, especially ones who disagree with me. It helps me when it comes to understanding other people. It helps me with my storytelling. Knowing that, Everybody wants to feel important. We can move away from some of this polarity, right? We can hold space for people to have opinions that are different from ours. So reading and reading outside of what you would typically read will give you that space and expand your mind and honestly just make you a better person. How many of you write, even just in a journal? Okay, so there is something really powerful about the act of having words come out of your head and enter a different medium that is not spoken. It's a completely different part of the brain. So when we're speaking, we're using one part of the brain. When you're writing, it's a different part of the brain. You're processing language in a totally different way when you're writing things down. And the beauty to me of writing is not only that like, I make really great money off of it. Let's be honest, that's pretty great. Can't lie. However, it also creates this space for me to figure out what the heck I'm feeling. I think that we, I had a, my 10th and 11th grade English teacher, his name is Casey Weeks. Dear Martin is dedicated to him because he would do this thing twice a week in our English class where we would spend the first five minutes of class free writing. It was never graded, he never read any of it, but it gave us an opportunity to just kind of sit down and get our thoughts out on paper. The, the participation grade was for the fact that you actually did it. I'm sure I had classmates that were writing like, blah, 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 I don't want to be here, this is stupid, I'm sure. However, the, even the act of getting that feeling out on the paper is therapeutic. So I want to encourage all of you to take some time to just write. It doesn't have to be anything good, I think I'm gonna add a section to my website where I put like the first few pages of first drafts so people can see it's not good at first. It doesn't have to be good. It, like knowing that whatever I'm writing, I'm gonna have to rewrite anyway, I am free. I'm like free to just like let whatever comes out come out. I've had drafts where the main character's name changes in the middle. And like I turn it in and my editor will be reading and then all of a sudden I get an email that's like, who is Samantha? And I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> and she's like, your main character has disappeared, but now there's this person named Samantha. And it seems like she's doing what the main character was doing. And I'm like, oh dang, I changed her name, my bad. <laughs> but I say all that to say, you can write and not worry about it being good, not worry about it being readable even, but the act of writing itself is really powerful.